So, um, first thing I want to say to you is thank you so much for last night. It was one of the best nights of my life. Like, our connection was, like, so deep, and um, it's, like, the first time that's happened to me since my husband passed away, honestly, and I um, was, for the first time, envisioning a life with somebody else, which was just, like, amazing, and I felt like it, like, healed my heart, like, a lot, honestly. Um, and as you know, it was really hard for me to come here. Yes. Um, and since I've been here, the things that were kind of playing at home um, haven't gotten any better. And I got a text this morning, and I think I need to go home and be a mom right now. <laughs> so as much as I don't want to leave, and I don't want to leave our journey, like, I gotta be a parent. And I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go home to my kids. And I... Um, so I understand. I, I knew you I, would. I get it. I understand. But I can't tell you how disappointed I am. I was on, I was so excited this morning. I was out of bed dancing. Oh, um, I was thrilled that we had a conversation like we did. But there's a moral compass that we both share. Yeah. And, and sometimes the right thing to do is the hardest. Although I know I'm doing the right thing for my family, I feel like I'm doing the hugely wrong thing for us. Oh, I understand. I'm so disappointed. Me too. I'll be with you. Thank you. And thank you for being like the best person ever to go on this journey with. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah. It felt really good last night, honestly did. It felt, I was so joyous. Like I walked out of there feeling so happy and like had a vision of what like, like could be like. The kind of just the beginning of like, like what we were discovering about each other. All right. It worked out way better than I ever thought it would. I met, like, a pretty incredible man. Like, I really want for him, I, I want him to be happy. He's a really, really good guy. 